Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I feel like I've talked about this a bunch over the last couple of weeks, but they just keep bringing it up. We're talking about abortion again. Oh, here we go again. The midterms are right around the corner, and people have decided that abortion is the most pressing issue. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode, and of course, you can go to dailywire.com slash Brett to check out my merch collection. First of all, Anne Hathaway, who I love, so this really sucks. She went on The View yesterday. We just have to watch this clip. Get ready to cringe and also just be angry at her. This is not a moral conversation about abortion. Right. This is a practical conversation about women's rights. Mm -hmm. And by the way, human rights, because women's rights are human rights. And the freedom mm -hmm. that we all Hillary need Clinton. to be able Talking to, point. to choose and build our lives and have access to excellent health care. Yeah. Yeah. got all the seals. May I just say one other thing? <laughs> abortion can be another word for mercy. We don't know. When you allow for choice, you allow for flexibility, which is what we need in order to be human. So that anyway, I just wanted to include right. that, for that help. part. Yeah. It, it can be. It's it really can be. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. is this is so dramatic. The, oh, this is, this really is, this is about flexibility. I just, oh, thank you for the applause. Thank you. Give me a break. I really don't mind the view when they have somebody on there that they hate because they bring the drama, they're fighting at each other, but when they're sitting around kissing each other's asses, just makes me want to puke, kind of makes me want to die inside. And this is really no different. Abortion is flexibility. Abortion is mercy. No, you're saying that you want to take an innocent life so that you can have flexibility. Like, lady, you had the freedom and the flexibility not to have sex in the first place or to use contraception. And mercy, mercy from pregnancy, that is a terrible way to frame bringing a life into the world. Oh, I need mercy from that. I'm sorry, what? And I hate this because as I said like two minutes ago, I love Anne Hathaway. I think that she usually stays above the fray. She's an incredible actress. She seems like she has brain cells somewhere in there. I'm not really sure now, but she's always been classy. I feel like she's never, you know, gotten into the nitty gritty celebrity stuff. And so I hate this. Stop talking about abortion. Stop talking about anything. You clearly just need to go home and work on your health. Actually, you might benefit from some balance of nature products because living a healthy lifestyle is not easy. It's hard to get up and go for a run every morning. It's hard to make sure you're getting proper nourishment, especially when you're like Biden and you're eating chalky chalky chip ice cream every single day. Balance of Nature fruits and veggies are the best way to make sure you are getting essential nutritional ingredients every single day. Now you might think you're hitting the recommended servings of fruits and vegetables every day, but most of us aren't honestly. And that's where Balance of Nature comes in. Their products are 100% whole food and they use a cold vacuum process that preserves the natural phytonutrients and whole fruits and vegetables and encapsulates them for easy daily consumption. Prior to starting this sponsorship, Balance of Nature sent a bunch of their products for me to try and I am so stoked to be adding them to my daily supplement routine. I feel like I'm upping my game and I've been taking reds and greens for a while now, but this is just so much more convenient and it tastes a lot better because I always hated drinking those. If you want to try them out and start taking control of your health, go to balanceofnature.com and use promo code Cooper at checkout for 35% off of your first order as a preferred customer. That is balanceofnature.com, promo code Cooper for 35% off. And y'all, if you do this, we are about to be the most mentally and physically fit YouTube community ever. Like our skin's gonna be glowing. We're gonna have so much energy. That's one of the things about doing the show that I don't love is prior to doing the comment section, I would know that there were a lot of celebrities I disagreed with and I would still be able to, you know, watch their shows, listen to their music, whatever. Now I'm in the thick of it and I see everything that they say every day and I realize that I really just dislike all of them and it's very disheartening, but you know what, it's okay. I find all of it for you so you don't have to. I'm really taking one for the team. The comments were a major white pill. Somebody said she is just laying the groundwork for another Oscar. Yeah, again, she is ticking off all of the talking points she needs to be in everybody's good graces. Somebody else said she has rehearsed her lines. Yes, again, it was very fake. Is it just me or does nobody in America use contraception? If you do not want a pregnancy, it's pretty simple. Quote, if it's not on, it's not in. It is so easy to get contraception in 2022. It is so easy to learn about your ovulation cycle. I'm not telling everybody when I do these episodes that you need to be some abstinent, sexless creature forever. Just be responsible. Take accountability. You can literally get a condom anywhere. Go to CVS, go to a truck stop. You can get one. It is very, very simple. At this point in time, there are virtually unlimited preventative measures that you can take, and yet they still choose abortion as their form of birth control. This is not some rare, legal, and safe, it's just for crisis situations. No, they are just doing this willy-nilly, and they are morally okay with it. They are morally rationalizing it, which is 
abhorrent to me. But that is not the only abortion conversation that is happening in Hollywood right now. Watch this scene from the new season of Love is Blind, and I apologize in advance for the titles on this. I had to pull it from a TikTok, and this woman was trying to explain her thoughts about the scene as it was going on, also trying to convince people that she was not pro-life, the whole thing. But just listen to what the person on the show is saying. What would you do if, like, you did find out that your child had a birth defect and you could abort the pregnancy? Do you want to keep the baby? Keep the baby? What the? F yeah. A lot of the time, even just with Down syndrome, there's so many complications, medical and also um, learning complications. And I see the amount of trauma that it does to like the family. For me, if I knew that I could try again and hope that the second time is better, then I would go that route. What the person who made this TikTok is saying is that she is pro-choice, but she is concerned that this is being aired in front of disabled eyes and they are hearing that their life does not matter, which is a very, very valid concern. But I want to get into the nitty gritty of what this person is saying, because this is heartbreaking. The woman who was on this show, who was one of the contestants who has now like found her future husband. This is them now having conversations prior to getting married. She is a child speech pathologist. She works with children with Down syndrome every single day, and apparently she does not believe that their life matters. This conversation came up on the show because she has gotten engaged to this man who is pro-life. They didn't discuss this prior to getting engaged. They are just now figuring it out. And the most shocking thing to me was how many people came on board. Like this article, like how love is blind. Nancy talks about abortion should be a roadmap for everyone. Season three Texan expertly walked her anti-abortion fiance through why she believes in the right to choose. And apparently that's because she doesn't believe that disabled lives matter. Same with many of the comments on TikTok. Somebody said, I think that it is an important conversation. It's okay to be honest. We can't punish people for knowing their limits. This woman said, my brother has Down syndrome and it is hard. I see what my parents go through. My fiance and I have had these what if conversations. Now, I definitely agree that these are important conversations to have with a potential spouse, a potential partner. Because if I heard that, I would know that our values were very misaligned and I would get the hell out of that relationship. But the more important point here is how these people think and rationalize their pro-abortion stance. They would rather try again and hope for something better than raise the child that they have just conceived. And the comments like this just absolutely broke my heart. This person said, as somebody who has worked with medically fragile children, this felt like putting them in a box like they're a burden. Another person said, I am a PEDS PT working with children with disabilities. And in 2021, I had my son who was born with a surprise Down syndrome diagnosis. He brings so much love and joy. Somebody else said, medically fragile children are a gift to families experience heartache, loss, pain, frustration, absolutely. But they also have much love, perspective, reward, and so much joy. I mean, these comments were everywhere and they were trying to be so positive and trying to shine a light that their child is not a burden. And obviously, if you watch my show, you guys know I have a brother that has a disability. I would not give him up for anything. And being in that situation and seeing these comments of people saying that, oh, these people's lives don't matter. It's less about abortion as a singular issue and more indicative about our culture as a whole. We are so selfish and irresponsible and morally corrupt. And it's not just people on reality TV shows. It is our politicians, the people that are running to represent us in federal government like Raphael Warnock in Georgia. Just watch his ad. This is recent. This is his closing ad before the midterms. I'm Raphael Warnock and I approve this message. My husband and I child. We received a call from our doctor. He said our daughter had a rare genetic condition. Even if she survived the pregnancy, she would not live for more than a few days. The only way we could help her is to make sure that she went back to God in peace. Herschel Walker thinks that he should have that power to make that decision. Not a mom like me. He wants to ban all abortions, even in cases of rape or incest, even when a mother's life is at risk. Herschel Walker thinks that as a politician, he knows better than a mother. That's not just wrong, it's cruel. After watching that ad, I can really only say again, it is the culture. And his mother is saying that it is so cruel that people wanted to keep her from getting an abortion. But like, lady, isn't it also cruel to abort your child? And I was thinking about this, and obviously, you know, Edwards syndrome, it's different than Down syndrome. Down syndrome has a longer life projection, but you would rather abort your child than try to give it a fighting chance, especially in a time when still so many of these in utero diagnoses can be wrong. Like that mother who said they didn't know that her child had Down syndrome until it was born. So many of these cases, they give a diagnosis you don't know until they're out of the womb until you're dealing with it. 
you really just have no idea. And then the other weird thing is that she left her anecdote and wrapped it back around to Herschel Walker talking about the cases of incest and rape. Like, lady, are we talking about your, quote, medically necessary abortions, or are we talking about the cases of incest and rape? Abortions following incest and rape make up such a small percentage of abortion, literally 1%. That data is everywhere. So in order to talk about that 1%, you first have to say that the other 99% is immoral and that we have to agree on that. Otherwise, you're using that 1% as an argumentative scapegoat. And that's not right. Somebody commented under the video and said, it sounds like she's thinking, I don't have a perfect baby, so I would rather not be inconvenienced with taking care of it. Somebody else said, I think if Democrats could have their way, we would have a society based on eugenics and not on the love of children, no matter how perfect or imperfect they are. Literally, yes. You do not have to have more than three brain cells to research that and understand it. And imagine being somebody who was born with a birth defect or who has a disability, whether it be physical or a learning disability, and watching either of those videos. It's just disgusting. These people claim to be loving and tolerant, but obviously they value their lack of personal responsibility, their quote, flexibility and their convenience way more. It's just an utter lie. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.